Okay. Here's my next example. Just so you know, you don't have to call function uh, f. You can call it anything. We often use that area of the alphabet, though, like g and h and f. So I'm not sure why, but it's by convention. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, g of x, I'm going to define it as x squared plus 2x. So I changed the function's uh, definition. I gave it another name, and I'm going to play the same game. So this function is the g function, the g machine. And whatever I put in it, it's going to square it. It square it and adds two times it. It being whatever I put in. Two times it. Square it and adds two times it. So I don't know if the words make it clear or not. Alright, so I am going to put in an X. This is an example. So I'll use X first. And what will it spit out? It'll square it what I put in and add two times it. Just like that. So what if I put in a question mark? It will take the question mark and square it and add two times question mark. And if I put in a four, I, I can get out a four squared plus two times four, following the same rule that this function is established. What's that, 16 and eight? is 24. All right, what if I put in Miss Adams? So, did you know I babysat her? All right, Miss Adams will go into the G function and come out Miss Adams squared plus two times Miss Adams. So that would be quite an intelligent, beautiful creature to behold, would it not? All right, and what if I put in A plus B into this function? What comes out? I'm going to get A plus B quantity squared plus 2 times A plus B. Whatever goes in, I square it and I add 2 times it. This mathematically can be um, simplified when you square it. You don't get A squared plus B squared. You have to multiply it out the four steps and combine like terms and you get A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Distribute 2A plus 2B. So I don't see any like terms to combine, so we'll leave it like that. And last, what if I put in an X plus H? So if I put in an X plus H in, this is what comes out. X plus H squared plus 2 times X plus H. And it will follow a similar story that the A plus B followed. So we'll end up with X squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h when I algebraically uh, expand that and like that. So, all right, so I think we got the idea of a function. You should have come to me with that idea this year, and I just wanted to clarify it for everyone's sake. So, now we're set and prepared to do the difference quotient. So here's what a problem will look like. It will say, it'll give you a function, so we'll start with 2x again, and it'll say for this function, find the difference quotient. And you will have no idea why this is important but it is a big deal in calculus. If you show it to any calculus student, they will get so excited. So, uh, find the difference quotient for this function right here. So, what is the difference quotient? Let me define it for you. 
the difference quotient and it has to be memorized so whenever we have to memorize something we try to help each other with a saying or a song so let me put this to song you poor people alright the difference quotient ready f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h divided by h this is the difference quotient alright I'll sing that again before <laughs> this is over so and of course when anything is set up like that it's understood and it should be mentioned that h can never be zero we're not going to divide by zero so we state that stipulation alright so what is the difference how do I do this for this example well this tells me what my function machine what's going to go into my function this tells me then what my function machine does it'll take whatever I put in it and double it well what am I putting in it this is my input right here so when x plus h goes into this function it comes out two of those x plus h like if I put in two, two um, if I put into this function star I would have gotten two star but I didn't put in a star I put in an x plus h and it came out doubled because the function doubles everything I put in minus that is in the definition f of x is given I just repeat it it is behind the negative sign and h is not in the function at all so it just appears in the answer so let me pull this down here where you can see so f of x plus h means I put x plus h into the function and I got 2x plus h out minus 2x I'm just following the definition divided by h so this will have um, we can simplify that by distributing 2x plus 2h oh minus oops 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 all right 2x plus 2h minus 2x over h oh it's so fun when things cancel and then we have 2h over h which ended up with just a 2 all right so the difference quotient for f of x equals 2x is 2 and that will actually mean a lot more to you who take calculus than those who don't. You know how to find the difference quotient. All right.